Hello, hello, welcome back to another video of mine. This For this one, I am doing the 1964 Cutlass Oldsmobile, the convertible customizing kit, where you can make it stock customer racing. And I am also making this for the next Motor City NNL 19. Their theme is the class of 64, so anything 1964, and 4x4s for the sub theme. So, this is coming up, uh, if you guys don't know or don't know the theme, but uh, that is the theme, and then November 10th is the date. So, this, this show is always fun, there's always a lot of great people there, always, <clears throat> it's always a good time, I love seeing up people's builds, there's always great and fantastic builds there. Oh. This will be for that. Uh, I have made the kit before, and if you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you will see what I have done to it. So I'll bring, bring in the other one that I made. And I've made that one a bit funny. As for this one that I'm making, I am just going to do a stock build i'm just gonna leave it a regular stock convertible and just try and do it up as nice as i possibly can now i do have obviously some of these spare parts from the other kit that i did not use like the other wheels and stuff the other seats the stock seats that are painted up so i don't have to paint these ones up so all these pieces that are in here. I have yet to paint. I just cleaned them up. I cleaned off the uh, the flash and other stuff from them. And now you can kind of see the detail on that dash. This kit is a very nice kit. It is worth building multiple times. Like the level of detail is very, it's very simple, but it's very nice. So, I mean, I did enjoy building this the first time. It was very nice, very simple. So this, if you get this, I would have to say this is, yes, worth building multiple times. There's a couple kits that I would say that for. Some of them is kind of just a once and done. Um, only thing I'd be using for this is the uh, the brake pads and probably steering wheel. These are for the customizing bumpers. I will not be using those. I already just put the engine together. I'll just paint it as one and then detail it. Um, obviously, this has a... A rod that will go through this for the wheels. But uh, this is all glued together. Very small engine. But uh, like I said, this is it's very, very simple, very nice. I mean, the hardest part of this whole thing is just painting it, honestly. And then you can see the other um, parts for the uh, race, the race version of the engine. So I'll be using the Little manifolds, I got the belt and fan over here, the air cleaner. Um, I have not put that on. I was debating on whether or not I want to wire this. It all depends if I can make it fit or not. I kind of, if I can make the time for it, I will do wires and make it look nice. But if not, then I get lazy, then I probably won't. And then there's the hood stock hood i gotta clean up the front a little bit more but and then the wheel backs well, yes this kit's very <clears throat> very simple there's the stock grill and bumper and then the custom ones um, other ones i guess were the race ones There's a couple wheel options in here. Um, the other wheel option is actually is these ones. I was uh, testing out. This one's black washed and this one is not. So I'll have to black wash the other one. At the time I made the first one, I was kind of deciding on what I wanted to do. So I was testing stuff out. And then these are the wheels. White walls on one side, tread, and then the gold Firestone Supreme. 
which is very nice. Uh, I'll be using the white walls for this one. And the other one I built, I used the gold firestones. So this time I'll be using the whites. Uh, let's see here. These decals, yeah, pretty much just for the race version. We got the dash and the license plates and that's it. So these are all for, so I won't be using any of these. That's the decal sheet. And that's really it besides the wheels. Um, oh, here, are, yeah, so this goes together with screws. Now these are the little rods for the wheels, the axles, and the screws on the bottom. So obviously here on the front and then here on the back. So you don't have to worry about gluing it together. It does go together very nicely. It does screw together very nicely. You will need a screwdriver. But, so I, I plan on just making this one stock and not doing anything crazy like I did with the last one. But uh, yeah, now the uh, little emblems on here are very, very prominent. I can just do that with a pencil, pen, dry brush it. It's very, it's very nice. Same thing with this here. Let me show you the interior. So the interior detailing is very, very prominent too. Um, probably we'll try and do the whole detail of having two different colors in here. It all depends on how much I'm willing extra to do. And, uh, this is for the car show, so I might as well go, go all out instead of being lazy. But, okay. so there's everything in the kit. Um, these are just the windows. Uh, that's for the race version, that's stock. That's for the race grill, and then the other headlights and tail lights. There's two different tail lights for the uh, stock and custom. The other racing items I already threw in my stockpile of extra parts. But, uh, I am going to get to priming this now and figure out what else I can do to make this look nice.
Alrighty, my 1964 Oldsmobile is all done. Uh, I got it all set up and put together how I like and how I want. A few things I could probably fix here and there, but 
eh. Uh, this is the second time that I have built this model kit. The first time I built it as a race car. And uh, I, liked it, I liked it a lot. So I got it a second time and I figured now was a good opportunity to build a stock version. Um, I did build this up to bring for this show. Class 64 is coming up in November. It's uh, November... 10th so it'll, it'll be there for everybody to see um, this just uh, screwed together on the bottom so there's screws in the front and in the back but that's what the bottom looks like currently here's a better view of the interior you can see all the flocking in there and all the nice carpet Bronze doesn't very really look bronze, but I did want like a brown, a darker brown metallic for the interior to offset it. And then here is the engine with the battery and the radiator and engine and master cylinder all wired up. So this is a, oh, I use a, I use license plates from a different kit. This kit didn't have any license plate decals or anything in it. So I just grabbed those from a different kit. So there's one on the front and on the back. That's, a, that's, that's how that looks. And then for the one that I built previously, it looks like this. I did make a video on this, I do believe, or I think I did. Um, if I did, I will post the link down below, but it's just my race car version. Uh, I just use decals from STS decals and uh, different kits, other kits. So, got the race bucket seats in there. But, uh, yeah, so if, if I can find the link, I will post this one down in the video. But as for now, get us going back in here. Uh, if you did uh, watch the video this far, I do appreciate it. Thank you. Um, there are always photos at the end. There's photos on Instagram and TikTok. They always go up there first. And I always appreciate the views, likes, comments. And I'll be on to the next. See you later.